I'm Joe Duffy for SportsbookReview.com. Of course, I am the CEO and anchor of OffshoreInsiders.com, and we are going to give you a preview of the Green Bay Packers versus Atlanta Falcons, a Sunday night football game at OffshoreInsiders.com. Going back to the preseason, 14-2 and two in the NFL. We have a humongous portfolio up for Sunday's NFL, and you're watching this in advance of the Saturday portfolio. Make sure you visit OffshoreInsiders.com, and of course, Shop around at sbrodds.com for the best line and all the thoroughly vetted sports books at Sportsbook Review. Falcons, in fact, at sbrodds.com. If you do that line shopping, you're going to see they're anywhere from minus three at plus 105 or minus two and a half at minus 117. And um, usually when you're moving off of three, the sports books are going to charge you 20 cents. So if you're big in the buying half a point, which we have proven is not a good idea, but don't do that because really all you need to do is shop around. You've got some good lines available depending on whether you like the underdog or the favorite. So make sure you use sbrodds.com. Green, Green Bay debuted their Nitro defense. Essentially, what it is, is they will use safeties at uh, inside linebacker. It gives them a more athletic defense. It had success against Seattle, to say the least, where they held uh, Seattle to only nine points. And they used that nitro defense and unofficially on 42 of 49 plays. Now, the Packers, of course, notoriously bad on defense last year. They uh, made a lot of changes in the offseason. And uh, so far, you know, early success, to say the least. They've got five new starters on the defensive side of the ball. Now, when a team gives up single digits in their previous game defensively, of course, and the total in the game is 50 or higher, said teams have gone over 23-17, and 17, including over 17-10 and 10 on the road. Now, put, to put it bluntly, there's nothing statistically impressive about that that's, you know, that's you know, only involving 40 games when we talk about home or on the road and the higher winning percentage on the road, but it confirms a theory about how the odds makers are going to overjust, they know the public's going to overjust, and there's a certain regression to the uh, mean that, look, Green Bay, their defense isn't as good as they showed in uh, Game 1. Falcons, a lot of people think this is a quote-unquote intangible. They are going to open their multi-gazillion dollar Mercedes-Benz Stadium. People, uh, a lot of people who are into the quote-unquote intangibles believe that this, you know, a little bit more of a home field advantage than most teams will be because it'll be added energy for opening this uh, stadium. Now, I already have some friends that have been there. They say that it's gorgeous. Now, is this revenge for the Packers? Those of you who are into uh, revenge, remember the Falcons beat them 44-21, to eliminating them from the NFL playoffs last year. Atlanta's going over at a 16-4 and four rate, including 11 straight at home. Look, I'm not uh, you know, buying in. All of a sudden, the Packers have gone from one of the worst defenses in the NFL to one of the best. And as we said, uh, teams that normally have a great defensive effort, but the odds makers tell you that they're likely to be involved in a high-scoring game the next game, even despite the high total. They tend to go over, so our official free pick is over the 53.5. And, and again, these are two great offenses Neither one of them have particularly good defenses, and don't get all excited about uh, week one results. That's a big mistake you can make is overreact. Well, remember, for your line shopping, uh, you definitely want to check out all the vetted sports books at sportsbookreview.com and for the best picks in the entire world. 14-2 and two NFL going back to the uh, preseason. By the way, we're 5-0 and in the NFL last Sunday. Make sure you visit OffshoreInsiders.com. Joe Duffy's Picks has been winning publicly for you since 1988, and I always visit SBRodds.com to make sure I am never screwed by a line move. Always, always shopping for the best line and the best juice possible. SBRodds.com, and I also love it because once the games are in progress, games you can't get on TV, you can follow the situations on SBRodds.com. Great for both the odds and the scores in progress.